Towards the end of this chapter, we have two more concepts we would like to introduce.、Uh, the first one is called natural rate of unemployment. Okay, and here I'm showing you、um, uh, this Fred chart. Okay, and here you can find that the、uh, blue curve is monthly reported unemployment rate. Okay, reported by Bureau of Labor Statistics. And once again, the shaded areas are recessions. So we're showing you from late 1940s all the way to、uh, the most recent year or month. Okay, and、um, the natural rate of unemployment is this red curve here. Now let's get it defined in the first place, and then we're going to talk about what this、uh, natural rate tells us. Uh, the natural rate of unemployment is the normal or average rate of unemployment around which the economy fluctuates. It is a theoretical concept, not directly observable in reality. Okay, now let's go back to this、uh, Fred chart. So what we're seeing is this red one here, red curve, is just the average. And it's relatively long-term average of the blue curves. Okay,、um, you can probably think about your GPA, okay, which is your average、um, grade points, right? And、um, so that's what this red curve represents. And the blue one is the letter grade you received from all the courses you have taken. Okay, so for example, if your GPA is three point five, okay, that probably means you know in some courses you have taken you received higher than three point five grade, like A or A minus, right? And uh, but in other courses you probably receive a lower than three point five grade, like B, B minus C, right? So um, again here. Uh, the natural rate of unemployment is just another way、uh, we, an, a kind of the benchmark we use to make our judgment. Okay, is the labor market doing all right, or the labor market is suffering?、Uh, with this benchmark, it's pretty easy for us to figure this out. Okay, again,、um, another thing you might.、Um, Another analogy you can、uh, use to understand this natural rate is、uh, the normal body temperature. Okay, ninety-eight point six, and、um, we lead that to、um, make some judgments or draw some conclusions. So, for example, if you get a flu and you go and see your doctor. Um, they read your temperature and find it's 100、uh, Fahrenheit degrees, and the doctor will tell you you got a fever, right? You got a fever because it's above your body temperature is above the normal, the benchmark、uh, degree. Okay, so、uh, without this red curve, we're gonna have a hard time figuring out, you know, how well the economy is doing, right? So that's the value of these. All right, here、um, is a very quick question: Does the natural rate represent the lowest rate of unemployment an economy can possibly reach? Again, on the chart, it's very straightforward. The answer is no. Right?、Um, the natural rate is here, but the actually reported unemployment rate could go far below it. Okay, could go far below it, or It could go far above it. Okay, remember the natural rate is the average. The average cannot be the lowest or the highest. Okay.、Um, another concept which is built upon the natural rate of unemployment is the potential GDP. Okay. Here is a definition.、Uh, the level of output an economy can produce when it's in unemployment. It's the natural rate. It is also a concept in theory. So here, when we talk about the GDP, we said it's a measure of output, right? It tells us how much we produce.、Um, when we talk about production, 
we said that there are at least four factors of production: land, labor, capital, and technology. Right?、Uh, here, the potential assumption we make is we don't we we hold other、uh, factors of production constant. Okay, we hold other factors of production constant. We just look at labor, okay, and then we find that、um, on the labor market, the unemployment hits the natural rate, okay. In other words, it the officially reported unemployment rate equals the long-term average, okay. At that moment, how much this economy produces would be equal to the potential GDP, okay. Again, let's look at this、uh, Fred chart. Uh, the blue curve here is government reported actual GDP, okay, and the red one is the potential GDP, the long-term trend, okay. Or you can also take this as a long-term average, okay. Again, as you can see, the blue curve fluctuates,、uh, sometimes goes below the red one, sometimes stays above it, okay. And、um, so here is a、uh, another question. Does the potential GDP represent the highest level of output an economy can possibly reach? Again, no, right? Like right now,、uh, before this year, we find that our GDP reported GDP already stood above the red curve, right? The potential level. And、um, here in late 1990s, during the dot com bubble, we also saw see that you know the potential GDP. I'm sorry. The actual GDP、um, goes above the potential level, right? So the potential does not represent the highest level. I know it is confusing. Okay, I, I believe the economists are not really good at naming these、uh, concepts. Okay, when we say potential, it looks like that's the best we can do, right? But it is not. Again, keep that word in your mind. It's average. Okay, it's average. Sometimes you may hear a professional economist would say that potential GDP is the highest level of output that is sustainable in the long term. We believe this、um, uh, expression is acceptable. Okay. Now, what do we mean by sustainable in the long term?、Uh, because here, for example, in late 1990s or、um, in early 2000s. Okay. Uh, we find that the actual GDP stays above the potential GDP, but we don't believe that's gonna be the case forever. Okay, so、uh, we believe that the economy during that period of time was probably probably overheated. Okay, and、um, if it's overheated, then it it will cool down. Okay, sooner or later. So that's why we believe here this red curve represent the highest level,、uh, which is sustainable, okay,、uh, in the long term. All right,、um, let's look at how the potential GDP is measured. We said it's not directly observable in reality, right? So it's artificially created, okay. Now here on this chart.、Um, Uh, this is what I got from the St. Louis Federal Reserve、uh, Bank, and it it tells us how exactly we come up with our potential GDP estimate. Okay, now you see、um, three curves here.、Uh, the light blue one is the estimation made in 2007. Okay,、uh, the darker one is、um, the estimation made in 2011. And the dashed line is the actual GDP reported by the government. Okay. Now, as you can see here, in 2007,、uh, they come up with the estimation、uh, for our potential GDP. But back then, nobody knew for sure the Great Recession was approaching. Right. So when they made the estimation, they were relatively optimistic. They believe we will continue to grow like that, right? But in 2011, we already that's that was the um, um, three years after 
the Great Recession, right? So we already knew that the economy was hit by the recession pretty hard. Okay, so that's why here we actually downward uh, adjusted our estimation for the potential GDP. Okay, what's amazing here is um, you know when they downward adjust make the downward adjustment, they are not just doing that for 2011 and after. They went all the way back to the year 2000 and made the downward adjustment. Okay. Again, potential GDP is an uh, estimation. Okay, it's not directly observable. Now, at this point, we can wrap up our discussion uh, in this chapter. Okay, we start with the demographic breakdown. Okay, and then we talk about the labor force participation rate. We said that if we look at the long-term change or evolution of the labor market, the participation rate is very informative, very useful. Okay. But when we look at the short-term fluctuation, we pay more attention to unemployment rate. Okay? And we said that uh, the dropout or coming back of the discouraged workers make uh, the unemployment rate misleading. Okay? So we should be really careful about this group of workers. And then we talk about the establishment survey. From that, we got the number of jobs created. Okay, we talk about pros and cons of these uh, two indicators. And uh, after that, we um, introduce the types of unemployment. Okay, we said for a macroeconomist, uh, structural and uh, cyclical unemployment are more important. Okay, and then we talk about outsourcing. We find that unemployment is a macroeconomic issue instead of a trade issue. In other words, outsourcing is not a primary job killer. Okay? Uh, um, the primary job killer is the micro, uh, macroeconomic cycles. Okay? Uh, the natural rate of unemployment um, and the potential GDP is what we just discussed. Okay? So here we already finished our discussion about the second indicator of macro um, economy. And in the next chapter, we're going to start talking about the third and the last macroeconomic indicator, which is the cost of